Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, Kellner from Droid Life. So today I'm gonna to walk through a product or an application or home replacement, whatever you wanna call it, called SPB Mobile UI 5.0. So you guys probably know about this because we wrote about um, the beta program that was launching you know, a month or so back. Um, essentially, home replacement, and uh, these guys have sort of taken, a, taken it and twisted it around a little bit and sort of adjusted the way we think of uh, our normal Android home screen. So let's go ahead and check it out, have a look at it. Um, it loads up pretty much on any device. I don't know how many people the, their beta program, you know, released this to, but uh, you know, we got a hold of it. I'm sure most of you could figure out a way to get a hold of it. We're not going to post up an EPK for you, but there's ways for you to uh, get a hold of this if you really want to try it. So, anyway, the, the first thing you'll notice is there's no more uh, there's no more app drawer. I'm not sure really how I feel about that. What they do is take all the apps you have and they place them on home screens for you and they sort of separate them out by category, like communication apps or, you know, I think games or things like that. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, one of the reasons I can't stand Apple products is the is that they're essentially called, they're essentially just an application jukebox. It's basically just pages and pages of apps. And that's sort of what we get with this uh, SPB mobile UI. It just pulls all your apps out. You no longer have an app drawer and it throws them on pages for you. So it sort of seems like a step back, but there's some other cool things on here. It looks really pretty and we'll you know, show you how that's going in just a second. So anyway, this is the main home screen. Um, down at the bottom, you have this sort of scroll bar and then you have dedicated buttons for uh, you know your phone and then for your browser. So we'll just show you the, basically this is why it's cool. If you tap on that, where your app drawer would normally be, it goes into this sort of 3D wheel mode. Okay, and then you can basically just spin it and it'll take you and show you all your different pages. The cool thing they've done is if you just press your finger and sort of drag, you can actually move this thing around and get different views of it and things like that. So you can see they've done a really nice job with the UI on it. Runs a little choppy on the OG Droid, probably doesn't have a pa enough power to really handle it. Um, I installed it on my Droid X and it got rid of uh, my phone button because Blur changes the names of APKs and things like that, of stock. So you basically need to run this on a stock device. You can load on your Droid X and Droid 2, but basically needs to run on stock Android. So anyway, you, as you can see, you can flip between these. You can just flick and let it go and it'll spin and spin and spin forever as far as I know. Put your finger on there and stop it. So that's sort of the cool, the coolness of SPB Mobile. Then of course you can drag your finger down here on the bottom and it'll take you to all of your different home screens. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the weather home screen. This is actually kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that, but it's raining here in Portland and it's actually raining on the screen. So it gives you a forecast, gives you your weather, gives you your temperature, gives you all sorts of weather settings. You can set that up for you know whatever city you're on. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. Um, like I said, there's a home screen. Um, there is a calendar. I'll show you that calendar, and it pulls in you know from your Google account. Um, they do have a sort of a worldwide clock. They also have this tools box, which you can see. You can get flight information, Bluetooth stuff. It has all your birthdays if they're in your contacts list. It has a whole bunch of stuff. Um, also has your favorites folder, and that's um, all your favorite people. It's all your favorite contacts. It shows your battery meter, Wi-Fi toggle. You can change your backlight really easily. So you can see it's got some nice little touches. It just has a little bit further to go, in my opinion. And of course, see there's more more apps. Put my Facebook widget on there. You can throw in all your normal widgets and things like that. Um, let me just back back out here. We flip between screens here. You'll see they're also labeled up top. Like this is my weather screen, home screen, calendar, tools, communication. So you can see they've labeled them for you. Here's uh, one of the clock pages and it shows you your alarms and things like that. Here is Flickr page, and this didn't actually pull in my Flickr feed or anything like that, although I think you can probably adjust it, but it just pulled in recent photos that are on Flickr. So it's just kind of a cool way to get new photos that are on Flickr. Um, and there's that weather one. Um, if we do hit menu, you get a couple options. Um, if we go ahead and hit manage panels, then it lets you sort of adjust these. So if we long press on one, try that again, long press on one, come on baby you can actually move them around. So you can actually swap them and order them however you want. Um, you can also get rid of them, I believe. I think I can drop it right there, actually. Yeah, you can drop pages right there that you don't want. So let's say I don't really need this clock one. Just drag it right there, and it sits right there. And then if you want to grab them again, you just put your finger on it and drag it back up. So. 
that's really, really cool stuff that we haven't seen in other home replacements. You know, and you can just flick between these and, and I can drop my clock back up, you know, wherever I want essentially. So that's pretty handy little stuff there. Um, like I said, it's, it's a cool UI. I'm just not sure I'm sold on not having an app drawer anymore. That's sort of one of the uh, nice things I liked about Android. So um, anyway, we're gonna be tweaking with this for a while, playing with it, um, seeing what other cool things come out of it. Uh, it's not super, well actually it is pretty stable right now, but like I said, it's slow on the OG. You essentially need a stock Android device to run it. But uh, you know, we'll post up some other stuff. Like I said, you guys can probably find this APK floating around out there if you really wanna try it. So anyway, check out the blog. We'll have uh, some photos and just more talk about it. And uh, we're Droid Life, peace.